they wish you would forget about what they did because they don't feel your connection anymore. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. You are spiritually gifted. I'm here to just to confirm what you already think and what you already know. Vine connected to branches. Okay, what happened here, I think, what I know is that you had to disconnect from this. And you're growing somewhere else, just like a certain plant maybe that, you know, you just take and replant it someplace else and it starts growing. That's what happened. You make me feel understood. They want you to forget. They did something that, um, oh, they really thought that you believed them and you completely found them out. You, oh, anyway, oh, if this is for you, you know exactly who this is. Please never make a reading fit. Emotional exhaustion popped out. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think you just had enough. You had enough of this person. I'm just here to confirm what you already think. Because um, it might be on your mind. Maybe even dreamt. Maybe even had a dream about him. I'm getting that this is someone who... Just something really nasty occurred. Like, this someone with a... Anyway, if this resonates, you know what that is. You know what this is about. Um... This was some, okay, there was some element of a, uh, an illicit affair here. Okay, they were, oh, okay, you were the third party and you didn't know it, perhaps. That's just one example. Or they were choosing between you and another person. Or they went with the, this other person. Oh, wow, yeah, okay, bottle up my emotions. Because the other person could deal with this more. Or was feeding more into this and you had had enough. Like, you know, you were there, but or they had a backup person that they always went to you when you weren't there. They would have rather had you, <laughs> you know. But when you weren't around, they had their backup. And they always breadcrumbed that backup. And um, just, and honestly, you probably didn't even know about the backup, but the backup knew about you. And eventually, you found out about backup, or it could have been multiple ones. And, wow. They, uh, they gave it a go with the backup, with, with the second choice. Because this was not the first choice. You were the first choice. But they tried. They really tried with this backup. <laughs> and uh, they're now the emotional... Ex they're, they're the person who's emotionally exhausted. This person they went to, though, was someone who... They were just desperate to have them. You were not. You were just like, if you're going to do me that way, I don't need this anymore. This popped out. Your debt is forgiven. This keeps coming out. I have a collective right now. There's karma being served. There's good things coming in. There's um, debts being forgiven. This keeps coming out because people want you to forgive their debts as, you know, vice versa. They want you to forgive theirs too, but are you willing to do that? I mean, you can forgive maybe, but not forget. Oh, there's a whole lot of emotional exhaustion here. Really, this, they went to somebody, wow, perfect love. I was going to say, they went to somebody who fed their ego. But they didn't feel this with them. This is the connection they felt with you. But they went to someone who, they really tried They They convinced themselves for a while that this was it. They convinced themselves because they just kept looking at the good things. And eventually they became more and more emotionally worn out because this person was a love bomber. Like, I think on both sides. There was love bombing on both sides. And you're probably not the type and maybe you fell for it at one time, but not anymore, or whatever. But uh, what I'm saying is, this person is drawn naturally to a love bomber because they, they need that attention. They crave that attention. You didn't love bomb, but you still gave them something they needed. Like, you were some kind of, you were like a rock for them. Like, you didn't take their garbage, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you stood up to them. You didn't just let them walk all over you, at least not for a while. I mean, I think maybe you did it first until you realized that's what was going on. Um, but this is someone who, oh, wow, they are truly emotionally exhausting. They want you to read their mind. At least they did at the time. Um, they, uh, you know, if this person's coming back or trying to come back and you want to talk to them, you're going to have to have a true conversation, a real conversation, and let them know, you know, this is, be specific and say, this is what happened, this is how you made me feel about it. I'm getting a serial cheater vibe, though, to be honest. Anyway, three cards. Oh, you age in reverse. This came out last reading. I'm so glad this came out again. It tells me that, you know, if, the, if you feel this person aged you, or maybe there was an age gap, or they used their age against you, you're getting all that back. Don't worry. You're looking younger all the time. The cells in your body are all restored and renewed, like like brand new. 
you attract love if that's what you want. And who doesn't, right? But like, you attract love. And if this is your perfect love person, because <laughs> really, I'm, at one point, you both probably thought this or considered it, wondered. This person still thinks about it because whatever they moved on to mm -mm, does not make them feel understood like you did. But let's manifest that you attract the love that you deserve. You are a trendsetter. See, that's what I was kind of getting from this. You do your own thing. You do your own thing. This other person they went to does not. They're not an original person. Like, I mean, I'm sure they are certain ways, but what I mean is they're more, much more of a copycat, much more of somebody who follows the trends. And you're one who's like, what trend? Like, I just do what I want. And anyway, you are spiritually gifted. And I think I'm just here to clarify and tell you what's going on because I think spiritually you sense this. So I'm just here to clarify that for you and give you spiritual guidance. But anyway, I just go back to this. And then with this, you age in reverse. It is spoken, it is written, and so it is. Amen.